Hey Rio Grande Valley meteorologist Brett Crandall here in our new Storm Tracker 4 Weather Center. We have some nice graphics that will hopefully better convey what's going to be happening in the weather department here in the Rio Grande Valley for you. This week especially we got some really warm temperatures and some very cool ones as well. After all, it is springtime. Looking for tomorrow, we will see another cool day similar to Sunday, but temperatures will be warming up on Tuesday. But by Wednesday evening, expecting yet another cold front to bring us a decent chance for showers. Overnight tonight, cloudy conditions persist drizzly once again in the morning hours with a bit of fog, especially in the lower valley and along the coast. In your morning hours, temperatures in the low 50s with those light rains, but by the lunch hour expecting drier conditions, temperatures rising into the upper 50s, and with a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon, hopefully seeing those temperatures in the 60s. If you're going to be heading out into the waters tomorrow, light winds will make for some light chop, but shouldn't have too many problems out there on the water. Tomorrow in Cameron County, temperatures highs in the low 60s with the cloud and drizzle persisting. Willisee County, 60 degrees in Port Mansfield, 61 in Raymondville, but even in the upper valley, temperatures will be rather limited with the cloud cover and the north wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Star County temperatures about the same 62 in Rio Grande City. Futurecast shows that the drizzly conditions will subside by the afternoon. Again, seeing a little bit of sunshine poke through Monday afternoon, but foggy conditions returning Tuesday morning before a warm front pushes the cloud cover on out and brings more sunshine and a bit warmer temperature trend for Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons. But Wednesday night, expecting that cold front to roll on through, and that's going to bring that 40 degree temperature drop and a cool end of the week and into the weekend. So enjoy those 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday because Thursday we got chilly temperatures moving back in once again with a decent chance for showers persisting through Saturday. Finally, looks like by Sunday we'll see temperatures rebounding back into the 60s.